there's a new college set to open in the region, the New England campus of the California-based Thomas Aquinas College, a private four-year institution founded by Catholic laypeople in 1969. It's received its final approval to open at the former Northfield Mount Hermon School. I spoke with Patrick Cross, the school's admissions counselor and Roman Catholic Diocese of Springfield Bishop Mitchell Rosansky, to find out what this will mean for Catholic education in the region. For us as a Catholic community, it means that in Franklin County, we will have a wonderful educational presence uh, for not only the people of Franklin County, but really well beyond. What would you say to people who think, wow, I'm surprised to hear that a Catholic school is opening? Well, first of all, there's been such success on the West Coast with Thomas Aquinas College, and I knew that there were more students who wanted to go there uh, but felt that the distance was prohibitive. But now opening this campus on the East Coast really opens up for a lot more students. I think it really means that there is a hunger for really studying philosophical truths, for studying the faith and, and learning more about the faith. So there is a real hunger, I think, in our society to know what is faith about and how do we live faith in, in this modern age. Patrick, for you, I know you worked on the West Coast campus, right. right? And you're working on admissions here on the yeah. East Coast as yeah. well. Have you had any inquiries from folks who are interested? Are you in the process of recruiting? Where are you in your process? Oh, yeah, definitely. So um, the reason we, we did this to start with is because on the West Coast campus, we consistently had uh, more interest then we could. And you have about 400 students on the West Coast campus, is that right? We aim at 350, um, more or less at different times. Mm -hmm. um, we want to have a smaller campus for the purposes of the intellectual life. Um, but really the reason was is because we had so much interest on our California campus that we thought we could start a new campus. And when the National Christian Foundation um, offered this, we thought, well, we have to take this opportunity. So yes, even this year, we've already had um, a lot of interest um, in the in the new campus and applying to the, the new East Coast campus. And it was an interesting way that you came by the property as the former Northfield Mount, Mount uh, North, let me try that again, Northfield Mount Hermon campus. I have the same problem. <laughs> <laughs> the, the former Northfield Mount Hermon campus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the challenges that Northfield Mount Hermon had was it's a very big, it's a beautiful campus, it's a very big campus. And they had, I think, about $150 million endowment, but they struggled to make the numbers work financially. Mm -hmm. Are you confident that you can make the numbers work here? Oh, absolutely. I mean, our development offices have looked into this over the last three years, I think, and, and I've been very confident. And when we went to the Board of Education, the board was also confident that we could do this. So we're, we're, um, we're very confident about that. And can you talk a little bit about curriculum, what people can expect? And Bishop, you spoke about faith and people wanting to connect with that. I imagine that'll be a piece of it. Sure. Yeah. I, I think that the, the Catholic faith really pervades uh, the campus. It, it pervades the campus in the liturgical life that will be there, uh, in the studies that will happen. Uh, for example, even going back to the ancient philosophers, uh, ph um, so Socrates, um, and the ancient Greek philosophers all the way through to uh, our age of, of Catholic philosophers. So it really does pervade the whole campus. So it's a wonderful curriculum. A little perhaps different in that it's a great books curriculum. It is truly a liberal arts education and uh, one that is inspires the students there to really think reflect, be critical, and critique what's going on in our society today. And so to start out, I've read, I think, 30 to 35 students you're hoping to target in the first year? We're aiming at two sections of students, and a section for us is generally around 18. So yeah, around 30, 35 or 36 students. And I know there had been reporting when the land transfer initially took place that you would hope to open in the fall of 2018. Things were sort of delayed in terms of licensing through the state, things like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you now on target to open fall of 2019? Yeah, so now we're on target to open in August of 2019. Um, the Board of Education um, gave us approval in, I think, August. Uh, uh, now everything's on track to open in the fall. So, so 
there are many liberal arts colleges in this region right now. The Elms among them, which is under the diocese's mantle as well. Uh, what does this Thomas Aquinas, what will it offer the region that maybe doesn't exist right now? Well, the unique thing about our program is that it is exclusively uh, a liberal arts great books program. So we actually only offer a single degree. It's a BA in liberal arts. And so every student who attends receives that same degree. Um, so it's a completely integrated program. You're relating all the different academic disciplines. You're talking about uh, philosophy and science class and science class and theology class. Um, and so it is exclusively uh, a liberal arts Catholic education, whereas um, a, lot of, a lot of liberal arts colleges will have a focus on liberal arts, but then you'd branch out and, and choose a major. Every student who attends our, our campus will receive the same degree. And when you're saying great books, tell people what you mean by yeah, that. Yeah, thank you. I'm, <laughs> you. I get used to saying these things. And uh, No, great books. So the great books are the basically the seminal texts in the Western intellectual tradition. So they're the most influential thinkers in every single academic discipline. So for example, um, a great books program would mean that instead of studying a math textbook in, in a math course, you would actually study the original writings of, say, Albert Einstein or Isaac Newton or something like that. So you're going back to the original writings of the authors in the different uh, academics disciplines. Okay.